Well, after the Saturday night snow, it's gotten cold. These are some of the coldest temperatures since the uh, blizzard at the end of 2022. And we may be seeing temperatures over the next few days as cold as a year ago, January. 13 weather ball is remaining green for the teens foreseen. So no change foreseen there. And this view sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. Temperatures tonight under partly to mostly cloudy skies will drop down into the single numbers with wind chills below zero. Not much below zero, but the winds right around daybreak are to go calm. A couple of spots I could see sub-zero readings. We'll climb back up into the mid-teens here tomorrow. Generally cloudy skies, maybe a couple of flurries. That's all we have left are a couple of flurries, but big high pressure cell has pushed all of the snow and all of the milder weather, if we can call that, and brought down some really cold temperatures. Now, in terms of active weather, not going to see much of that this week. Might see, still see a few flurries around here during the day tomorrow, but you also could see some sunshine, especially during the day on Wednesday. Lots of sunshine is expected. Next weather system staying well to our south, well to our north, but we do have another cold front coming through uh, during the day on Friday. That's going to drop our temperatures again. Maybe a couple of flurries on Friday, but these are all uh, very quiet weather systems coming on through. And then we see our temperatures skyrocket over the weekend. Saturday, very strong winds, lots of cloud cover, and then there could be a little bit of a wintry mix on Sunday as temperatures approach 40 degrees. It just seems to be that kind of winter. In terms of temperatures, highs tomorrow. About where we are right now, mid-teens, even colder off to our northwest. 26, though, on Wednesday, that's a 10-degree jump. And then on Thursday, we'll get into the upper 20s. Uh, some of the area uh, areas that have had a lot of snow are going to start to loosen up and melt a little bit. Right now, the salt is not doing much of a job. Long-range outlook from the 5th through the 9th. High chances that we'll see warmer than average temperatures and high chances we'll see more precipitation. It's going to be on the warmer side. It'll be leaning more toward rain than snow during that five day period. Tonight, a couple of flurries, partly cloudy skies at the lakeshore. Around 10 above, plus or minus a few degrees, a little warmer down towards South Haven. Wouldn't be surprised in this area if you have clear skies tonight, you could drop below zero. Most readings just shy of zero. And here in the greater Grand Rapids area, we'll be in the single numbers with below zero wind chills. 13 on your side forecast. Very little active weather here much of the rest of this week. Couple of flurries tomorrow, kind of like today. Couple of flurries on Friday. Overnight lows, single numbers, maybe teens on Thursday. Warmer over the weekend, uh, but windy. 28 Saturday, 34 on Sunday. Might be a wintry mix for a couple of spots. This is not a lot of active weather. A bigger system coming through with some rain and maybe even some mix to snow as temperatures fall from the low 40s next Tuesday. George out on the weather deck right now, and that snow really did come down on Saturday. Oh my Woo! gosh, I almost needed the Army Corps of Engineers just to help me get outside of my house. Dig them out. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, we were out shopping late in the day. Saturday said, yeah, we need to get home. Mm -hmm. It's starting to get bad out here. And yeah, we did get the snow as predicted mm -hmm. uh, quite a bit, but uh, we're going to end up uh, with a deficit for the month of January, thanks to all that warm weather up until now. 13 weather ball is green. No change to the teens foreseen. Our coldest temperatures since just before. Uh, Christmas and this view sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. We forecast temperatures to fall all the way down to 15 at 5 o'clock. It was down to 13 within uh, 2 degrees of our forecast high. We try to get within 3 uh, degrees. 23 days in a row now we have uh, done that. Snow reports, if in case you missed them over the weekend, as much as 11 inches in Cloverville, Walker, and in Greenville, we ended up with about 7.5 inches here out on the weather deck, and many areas got 7 plus inches of snow. Uh, we're going to run a deficit for January, not much more snow, 8.5 inches below, but because of a snowy uh, December, we're 31 inches ahead of average. Take a look at this map. Most areas have seen 40 inches or less snowfall. What's the outlier? 81 inches out at the airport now for the season. Most areas in lower Michigan have run a deficit with the exception of Kent, uh, portions of Ottawa and Allegan counties. Also higher than average amounts of snow along the Lake Superior shoreline, all due to 
lake effect. High pressure now building on in. It's going to keep our uh, temperatures rather chilly here much of the rest of the week. We're going to lose these lake effect flurries. They'll be around during the day tomorrow. Not much more than what we saw during the day today. In fact, even fewer and some a lot of breaks opening up here tomorrow night, so it's going to get really cold. Might be our first sub zero reading since about a year ago. January. What a way to start the month of February. Dry weather again on the Thursday. Uh, some colder air coming in for Thursday night and on Friday may generate again some lake effect snow showers, but nothing that's going to amount to a whole lot. And then the weather pattern shifts dramatically windy and uh, milder on Saturday as temperatures rise all day. And there could be a wintry mix as we get well above freezing during the day on Sunday. It seems to be that kind of year. Tomorrow, temperatures in the teens everywhere. Wind chills will barely get out of the sub zero readings into the single numbers. Uh, mid and upper 20s then during the day Wednesday. Average high is right around 31. We'll get a little bit closer to that during the day on Thursday. And then milder weather as as we get into early next week. In case you missed it last Friday, the long range outlook from February 11th through the 24th, high chances we're going to see warmer than average temperatures, higher chance for more precipitation if it's going to be warmer, leaning more toward rain than snow, but we'll get some snow. A few flurries at the lakeshore tonight under mostly cloudy skies here during the day tomorrow as well, upper teens to near 20. A couple of breaks in the clouds, but generally a cloudy day with a few flurries, mid teens for highs. And here in the Greater Grand Rapids area, again, mid-teens, 16 for a high. That's one degree warmer than uh, December 23rd, when we had a high of 15. 13 on your side forecast. Even though we'll get to 29 Thursday, we'll drop back to 14 for a high on Friday. And then rising temperatures Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday of next week. We'll see uh, temperatures then take a little bit of a nosedive next to Wednesday and Thursday after some rain mixes with snow next Tuesday.